All right. Flynn. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm got gonna... a Lassiter and Nicole Smith. Let's go. Got Rosemary hopping on. Lassiter, you better get in that camera. Don't be hiding over there. All right, guys. First off, happy Friday. Um, made it through another week. Our prep work for today. So let me uh, have Joe show you what it is, and then I'll start the timer and we'll get at it, all right? So the first exercise is going to be a single leg glute bridge with a leg swing. So the leg that's not pushing it into the floor, you're going to keep that leg straight and swing it up and down 10 times, all right? So we'll do that each side. Then we're going to get you guys standing up for the next one. So these are, this is going to warm up your shoulders. This is the Y's and T's, okay? So just like the alphabet, you want to mimic that position. So the Y's are at that angle. And then the T's are out to the side. So notice his thumbs are leading the way on that, on both movements. So that's 10 each way. And then we got a broad jump with a back pedal. So if you have a little bit of space, you're going to jump forwards, back pedal to your spot, jump forwards. Back pedal to your spot. So you'll do 10 of those. So that's all we got for our prep. I'm gonna put five minutes on the clock and then we'll get at it, all right? Get ready. We got some Metallica up in here. All right, starting out that single leg glute bridge with the leg swing. 10 reps each side. We're trying to keep those hips off the ground and that one leg straight as you swing it. Oh, this is a skillet, isn't it? Yeah. What's up, Webster? All right, Joe did both sides. Now he's into his Y's and T's. So remember, hips back. Think about squeezing at the top of that movement. You should feel those shoulder blades light up. Yep, Y's are halfway, and then the T's are all the way out to the side. Ten each way. Remember, the thumbs lead the way. Got the Griffins hopping on. What's up, Kristen? Just finish checking everyone in. And that third one's that broad jump with that back pedal. Like an athlete. Yeah, if you don't have much room, you can just kind of walk yourself back. I don't want you tripping over anything in the living room. Yep, repeat. We're at 2.45 left in the warm-up. I like it, John. You got your kids working out every time. I like it. <laughs> we got a minute 45 left. Joe's just finishing up his uh, tees. About to get in that broad jump. You 
Brent, I can kind of see you. For some reason, your screen is foggy. Nice jump, dude. Yeah. The whole turf. The whole turf. Clearing airplanes. Good work, y'all. Keep it rolling. You might be able to get back to those uh, single leg glute bridges with that leg swing. We got about 35 seconds. Got a good one coming up today. There you go, Brayden. I can see you. Much clearer. Give me that smile. She can't hear me yet. Hey, Brayden, how you doing? All right, y'all, time, time. Go ahead, I'll give you guys a, a, a minute to get yourself situated. You're gonna need a one dumbbell, one dumbbell today. Yep, take those uh, hoodies off. Hopefully you should be feeling warm. Do we have any announcements we need to make? The next challenge next week. Yes. Hey, a couple announcements. If you have a um, MyZone belt, you should have got an invite for a MEPS challenge starting next week. Um, also next week, in What's regards up? to programming, hopefully – oh, Joe's doing a headstand. <laughs> <laughs> He's got room to fall. Um, what would I say? Next week, in regards to programming, if you uh, – I am putting in some exercise with some bands. So hopefully you guys got that memo during this week to purchase some bands. Um, this weekend. Yes. Also this weekend for, we'll do a, we'll do a, we'll do a video later, right? We yeah, should. Oh, you did one. Okay. So we'll do uh, this weekend. Our outdoor or BFP outdoor challenge will be to get in a mile, at least a mile of running or walking. And then you got to take a picture of your watch or phone on however you track it. Cause I'm pretty sure everyone has a way to track that stuff now. And then you upload it or you uh, tag BFP at it. All right. So that is the challenge this week. We'll have that on Facebook to reiterate that. But um, that was your announcements. All right. So for the workout, let's get real. We got 20 minutes. This is going to be an AMRAP style. So 20 minutes, you're going to work as fast as you can. So pretty much at your pace, keep the rest minimal. We got five movements and then every two minutes, we're gonna be doing some burpees, okay? So the first movement we got are gonna be V-ups. So if you look at Joe, he's got that solid position to start in that hollow position. We're trying to raise the upper body up, reach for those toes. Those are good reps, man. Save them. So that was, uh, the V up, if you need to scale it, you just bring your legs in and we reach for the toes still. So you're not, we're just taking out that uh, step where you got to lift your legs. So we're looking at 10 reps. They're going to flip over to your belly. We got our supermans. Make sure when we do these, we pause at the top. All right. So Joe just kind of moved his belt over a little bit. He's got the my zone on. So head down, thumbs up. I want to see you guys lift up, hold, and then control it back down. No flopping. All right. So we got 10 reps on that. Yeah, don't do what he just did. Then you're going to need your dumbbell. We're going renegade row. We got 10 each arm. So he's got that solid push-up position. So since we only have one dumbbell, we're going to do it like this today. You're going to rep out 10 reps on one side and then switch sides, 10 on the other. Remember, we're trying to resist that twist with the hips, okay? Lock it in. The fourth exercise 
You're gonna lay on your back. We're gonna do a single arm floor press. So notice his setup, he's got his knees bent. We'll keep the hips on the ground. If you do wanna put your hips in the air, you can put your hips in the air if you want. But uh, notice where his elbows are hitting the ground. I'm spotting him, this is my spot, my face hand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you got a heavy weight, uh, you can spot yourself by putting your hand in front of your face because you gotta protect the face, right? So we have 10 reps each side. And then the fifth one, this one's gonna get your heart rate up. It's gonna be some drop squats. So the way we perform a drop squat, when you squat down and touch the ground, I know we did a bunch of squats yesterday, but when you touch the ground, you hop your feet out. And then when you come back in, you hop your feet in. So that is a drop squat. So you're gonna be doing 20 reps on that. So like I mentioned in the beginning, every two minutes, so on the timer, every two minutes, Everyone's gonna stop, you're gonna perform three burpees, and then you're gonna pick up where you left off, okay? Thumbs up for that. Yeah, thumbs up if you love burpees. Oh, I see a couple thumbs down. <laughs> All right, so if you have um, anything you need changed up, send me a little chat. Otherwise, I'll give you guys like 30 seconds to get yourself set up, all right? I'll get that timer going. Going 40. I thought I'm gonna go a little heavier on that. Yeah, definitely. If you've got a heavy weight, push the weight on the rows and the press, all right? That's our way we're going to incorporate some strength training today. Rachel, yes, we'll do that. All right, timer's about to get started. That first exercise. If you got your phone next to you, kind of follow along, but I'll, I'll be yelling out what we got coming up next. I know everyone's going to be at a different pace. I just this several times. Like the yeah, I'll keep you guys in, in the know. We're going V-ups first. V-ups first. You got 10 seconds. Turn that music up. Let's get that Friday rolling. All right, 20 minutes. You got 10 V-ups. That's it, doing your best to get that upper body off the ground. Then you go into your Supermans. Everyone's got a pretty good camera angle. After those Supermans, you go in Renegade Row. Remember, you're gonna stick to one side and then you'll switch. Remember that way, you wanna control it on the way up, but on the way down as well. Don't let it bash into the ground. That's good, Lauren. After your floor, uh, your renegade rows, you're going onto your floor press. 10 each side. Looks good, John. Kids are looking good too. We're that floor press, that elbow's gotta touch the ground, that back side of your arm, all the way down. Ten each side, that's it. That's good, Britton. Good drop squat. Good adjustment, Lauren. Just do twenty reps like that. After that floor press, we got those drop squats. And when your hands touch the ground, you hop out.
There you go, Flynn. If you do get a chance, we'll adjust your phone where I can see you move in. When do you get a chance? I'll just angle it down a little bit more. That's good. Yeah, man. Crap. All right, everyone. We got three burpees. Hit those burpees up. I will not forget. Once you get those three burpees, you are back to where you left off. Well done. A lot of y'all are starting those V-ups again. Awesome. Good job, Michelle. Good drop squat. Got Strickland's. That's it, Charlie. All right, y'all, it's been uh, four minutes in, so we're gonna do those three burpees again. I know we're playing catch up. Three burpees. Yeah! Once you get those three burpees, you are back to your exercise that you were on. Good V-ups, John. Nice. It's Nicole looking good on those. Or Susan on the Supermans. Hey, hey, hey. Got Rosemary. There you go, Rosemary. That better be the 25. It is? Okay. That's it, Ann McDonald. <laughs> I love how your dog just passed out in front of the. <laughs> Y'all got a good rhythm. Keep rolling, y'all. Keep rolling. It's almost time for some burpees. You got 10 more seconds. All right, time to pay the burpee king. You got three more. Everyone get up those three burpees. Then you go back to your exercise. Nice. Full session today at 8.30. As always, Joe's rocking it out. You got it, Melissa. Good pulls. Good work, Allens. Way to work together. Nice, y'all got a good rhythm going. Keep it up, Griffins. That's it.
There you go, Sutherland. If you want to do more reps because that's lighter, I know it looks – you were saying you had a light dumbbell. Um, feel free to do some more reps. All right, y'all, we're at 12 minutes left. So guess what? We got three more burpees. Get them, you got it. Whichever variation you want, you can go all the way down or that hop back. Good, right back into it. There you go. What you pressing? 70? 60. That's it, John. Good job not resisting or resisting the twist. I see you, Trish. That's it, Britton. Good to see you on here. What's up, Freddie? Hey, Freddie, if you're doing that, can you move that camera down a little bit so I can see Britton while she's working? Yeah. That gives me a good view so I can coach her up. Thanks, man. All right, y'all, we're at 10 minutes left, so everyone's got three burpees. <laughs> That's it, good reps, y'all, good reps. Right back into what you're doing. You got a moss. Keep working, y'all. I haven't seen anyone take too long of a break. That's awesome. Y'all got a good pace. Looks good, Allison. Some of y'all are cruising through this. All right, y'all, get ready. We got three burpees coming up. John, you're gonna get yourself up. <laughs> I know you just laid down. All right, y'all, three burpees. Oh my, I feel so after that. One on the pressing. Mm 
Keep grinding, y'all. Keep grinding. Joe. Steady green. Nice. That's it, Webster. Getting those drop squats. Almost time for some burpees again. Huh? I said almost time for some burpees again. Oh, we, got? we got 620 left. So you got 20 seconds. Wait, Crank him out, Joe. Come on. All right, y'all. We are at six minutes left, so we are owing three more burpees. Solid reps, there you go. We're almost there y'all, keep working. I think Joe's on his fifth round, maybe. Check. What? Check Say again. Check yeah. Big group today. Big group. You got it, Maddox. <laughs> There you go, Lauren. Good adjustment. Let's go, Rosemary. And McDonald go. There she is. Nice. All right, y'all. We are at the four minute mark. Three more burpees. That's it, y'all. That's it. Good work. Good work. Got about 340 left in the workout or this part of the workout. Good work, Caldwells. Good job, Britton. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you can get on. Are you going to call you repping it out? I'm a Susan Susan's right next to you. There she is. I'm going faster than you, Nicole. <laughs> Josie is going faster than you. Oh, man. 
I am taller than you. <laughs> There you go. Get those reps in, Joe. Come on. Ten seconds till we go burpees. All right, y'all. We're at the two-minute mark. Two-minute mark. Burpees. Three of them. That's it, John. Wipe that sweat off. Get it. That's it. Go, y'all. This is the last two minutes of your workout right here. I keep saying the, the whole workout. It's not the whole workout. We got more. We got more coming. This is definitely the hardest part of the workout. Looking at one minute left, y'all. One minute left. Let's get it, Joe. Get those renegade rows, chest press. Forty seconds. Good, y'all. Less than 30 seconds. <clears throat> 10 seconds. I want you guys to finish up whatever exercise you are on. And then for a little Friday fun, we're going to finish with three burpees. So the time just beeped. Like I said, finish up whatever exercise you were on, and then you're going to finish with three burpees. Unless you're Jeff Webster, you're going to finish with 30. <laughs> just joking, man. Good. Once you get those three burpees, go ahead, get some water. I'll give you guys a two-minute break. Solid work on that. Y'all flow through that awesomely. It's not even a word. <laughs> Good. Yeah, you are. I want to determine like when the next one is. Like anywhere, people. Yeah, that's a place. If that's a place, gonna catch something. It's definitely gonna be a limit, like festival area, like in terms of stations and stuff. Like that's true. Yeah. Then there's, I don't. They gotta do what they can to make money though. So. Yeah, this is like their prime time this year. Mhm. Mm Weather would've been perfect if you were shot. I'll give you guys know about another 30 seconds, and I'll take a minute to explain what we're moving into. Um, I'm still really letting Joe rest. It'd be nice. <laughs> he worked hard on that one. Y'all did too. How about you do these again next week? Like this week we do half strong, half same leg. The next week do same leg. Same arm, same leg. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty much done for next week's programming for the adults. All right, guys, so we're going to go into um, – it's going to be five rounds each leg. We're going to switch every 30 seconds, so I'll keep track on my phone the time, and I'll let you guys Dude, know I'm when to switch. Sitting down on that. Are you still sitting down? Did that shut off? Hold up. Joe's actually moving around, but let's say he's sitting. <laughs> no, what I'll do is just disconnect it. Hey, give us, uh, give us a second. We're going to –
disconnect something real quick. I swear, I thought you were sitting out the whole time. Oh, you got it. Oh, you undo it and redo it. Right here. Yeah. If not, I'll just angle this towards you. Because we're plugged in right there. I wonder if jumping on that thing. All right, y'all. I'm going to angle this towards Joe. I'll keep my face in it a little bit. We'll get this going and then we can. All right, so y'all can see Joe. So we're going to go into, it's going to be five rounds, like I said. 30 seconds on each side. We're going to be doing some single leg RDLs. So today, today we're going to focus on holding the weight in the opposite leg. So Joe's got it in his right hand. That means his left leg is going to stay on the ground or his left foot's planted into the ground. But think about your hips. When we go through this, try not to let your hips roll too much on this. So if you can see from the backside, nice slow rep down. That back leg's coming up. So Joe's going to show an incorrect rep right here. So see his hips open up. We want to make sure those hips stay pointed down as best you can. So if you think about your heel or your toe always pointed down or your heel always pointed up, that usually helps with your hips, okay? So on this, you can push the weight on this if you got a heavy weight or if you got like a heavy backpack or sandbag or heavy dog. I'm joking. Um, all right. All good. Y'all can see him still. We're just putting him right on the desk with him. Like I said, I'm keeping track on my phone. I'll, we're going to switch every 30 seconds. And I'll give you guys some time to switch in between, all right? All right, so let's put it, let's do it. Let's keep everyone on the same page. Let's put the weight in your right hand. And then your left leg's doing the work. All right, guys, ready and let's go. Good control on the way down. So Trish, keep going. Trish, gonna put the weight in the other hand. Yes, right there, but keep doing what you're doing. We're actually switching sides. Switch sides. I'll give you guys five seconds to switch. Four, three, two, one, let's go. So Trisha, if that weight, when that weight goes down, it's the same leg that goes back. Can you see Joe? That's it. Good, good, that's it, good. All right, we're gonna switch sides, five seconds, four, three, Two, one, switch sides. Get one more rep in. All right, switch sides. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's keep it rolling. Good control, keeping that weight close to your body. Don't let it drift away. As you go down, sometimes you think about aiming towards the side of your big toe. All right, five seconds to switch. Four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Good job, Allens. So, Melissa, you got the weight in the wrong hand. Boom, right there, yep. 
Good job. All right, we'll switch it up. Three, two, one, go. Job, Britton. Looking good, Moss. There you go, Strickland. See if you get that weight below the knee when you go down. You really feel that in the backside. All right, we're gonna switch it up. This will be our fourth round. Ready, set, go. That's it, John. I know some of y'all got those running shoes on. They may feel a little squishy. This would be a good one to do barefoot. All right, switch sides. Three, two, one, let's roll. That's it, Flynn, good work. Good job, Lauren Schober. All right, back to that first arm. We got one more round on each leg, all right? So three, two, one. Let's finish strong on these, all right? I know that booty's hurting. Backs look good. Doing six each. Okay. All right, let's switch it up one more time. Last side. Almost there. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. Ten seconds. Couple more. All right, booyah. Good job. So we're gonna finish with some stretches. This first stretch is the couch stretch. Let's see if you can see Joe. Boom. All right, really, we can go down to a half kneeling position. If you got something to put your foot up on, you can. If not, Joe's right here grabbing a roller just to keep himself upright. But from this position, we can focus on squeezing the cheeks, all right? So squeeze the cheeks. You should feel that hip flexor in the front part of your leg tighten up. Maybe, maybe it went off the wireless. It may have, yeah. That, that, was, that was all your concern about. That was usually, I've had always been good about that stuff. All right, y'all, let's switch sides. Five days a week. About 10 more seconds. Oh, Allison, couldn't get enough? <laughs> I, I, you're on a phone call. All right, y'all, the next stretch. I want to do the, the butterfly stretch. I have frog stretch, but we did that one the other day, but we'll do the butterfly today. So we'll sit on the ground, bring your heels together. 
scoot those heels in as far as you can and then work on pushing those knees to the ground. About 10 more seconds. All right, so this next one from this position, I want you to put your hands around your knees. You're gonna lay back. Yeah, make sure you got the right camera angle. I don't wanna see. <laughs> so you're gonna take your knees, pull them apart. And stretch out that inner groin, the inner hips. The pelvic bowl, if any of y'all watch The Office. Keep holding, we'll go about 15 more seconds. I know some of y'all are kind of moving through that as far as like moving your legs. You can rock side to side. I know in yoga they call this like happy baby, but I think that's around your feet. Yeah, that's Allison, okay. All right, y'all, that's it for today. Thank you for hopping on. Appreciate you guys working out hard. I've seen a lot of y'all all day, like every day, hopping on here. It's tough stuff. So I'm gonna unmute y'all. Feel free to give your partner you worked out with a high five. There we go. Thanks guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome. Hi, friends. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And Elizabeth, to answer your question earlier, yes, still a <laughs> sore. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm going to go on a run. Aw, you're too far away. I would run with you. Send me a message. Okay. Okay. This is so oh, doing to Joe. <laughs> Scooby, say hi. Scooby. Scooby doo doo. He's not <laughs> he's not smart enough to see the camera. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, God. oh, whipped in the face. Just about. So Close about. up. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, John. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all crushed it today. All right. We'll see y'all later. Karina That's was at good. Walmart buying up all the all the 15 pound dumbbells and kettlebells. Yeah, uh, She's sending me a text message. She's like, you want one? I'm like, yes, please. She goes, I'm just gonna buy them all. I was like, okay. You should, I bet she could sell them all. Oh, I think that's what she's gonna do is just get them and then whoever wants them will buy them. I mean, somebody's gonna get them from her for sure. I can't yeah. imagine they had a ton left, so. Anyway, so I should have something better to work out with next time. Cause- I you. What do you got right now, 10? I go from a 10 to a 30. Oh yeah, <laughs> nothing in between. So I'm like, you know, <laughs> I'm either, I can do like one round of the 30 and then I'm like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's a tough. No, one. but then yeah. I have to go to a ten, and it's like doing nothing, and I can barely get my heart rate up. So I get. I, yeah, I know a couple people got tens, and they're they're same same situation. Yeah. Do what you gotta do, though, right? Exactly. Hey, it, well, I was holding two of them. Yeah, yeah, point, I saw like, that. <laughs> doing the floor press because I was like, well, there I can just kind of balance them on my hand. I don't have to hang on to them. That's and true. And it worked to do twenty for that, but whatever. It's good. We're probably going to go run the bridge here in a bit. All right. We'll enjoy it. Yep. Y'all have a good yep. one. See you later. Yep. Bye.
What up? Yeah, we've been just doing little stuff every weekend. We did the front last weekend. I still need some more mulch, but I'm undecided on mulch because you might lose it this summer. Oh, I won't even waste the money on it. I think I'm just gonna edge everything up super nice. Yeah. If they want to mulch it, they can mm -hmm. move. I need to get in the dog area. It's got a bunch of like overgrown weeds and grass. And just straighten up. I always like, like I'll feed him. I'll dump his dog food in the thing, and then just like throw it in the bag somewhere, yeah. <laughs> or throw it in the burn pile. And then the decompose. Burn. I got a whole tree worth of logs sitting back there, and then there's an overturned 